Last time I went to the gym was probably two months ago, I want to say. I think that was the day that I did the trap bar deadlift. Uh, before that was probably another month that I missed. Uh, so really, I'm struggling to go to the gym. Uh, it's gone to a point where, you know, all I really do is barbell work anyway. There's nothing really attracting me to the gym anymore. You know, with the increased hours of work and whatever, I'm just finding it easier to just train at home. Not that I am lacking motivation to train. The training has never been better, really. Uh, the amount of work that I'm doing is, is, is much, much higher than previously. Uh, it's just that I feel like I need to make value of every minute that I have in the day and just driving back and forth, I feel like is a waste when I'm just driving to the gym to walk into another freaking squat rack and spend an hour and a half there as well. Might as well stay at home. Today though, um, the only thing that got me to go to the gym this morning was I wanted to try the the glute, the glute thrust machine. Uh, where the hell did that come from, this idea? Uh, this idea came from a, a, a train of thinking along the lines of bodyweight squats, Hindu squats, bodyweight squats, Hindu squats. And uh, going back in that journal a few days ago and looking at the, the really hot periods of my time in this journey, analyzing those moments a little bit better, and also not just analyzing what worked, but also what changed to get me out of those periods. Why didn't that hot period continue? And uh, a lot of the time when I look into this stuff, except uh, especially when I, when I look at the squatting aspect of the whole thing, it's always hip pain. Um, so the hip pain comes back and, and returns. And, and, you know, every time I squat a lot, uh, a certain type of squat, uh, you know, usually with the barbell, with a heavier load, I always end up in pain. Over the course of years of doing this, I've kind of, uh, I'm, I don't want to say I've worked it out, but I'm very close to understanding what gets me out and what doesn't get me out. Uh, I feel, I'm saying this very loosely, that my hip pain has got something to do with the right adductor. Uh, when my right adductor gets sore and tight, the hip pain returns. They kind of like coincide with each other. Sometimes the, the adductor doesn't even hurt. It, it, it manifests itself as right hip pain. But when you palpate over the right adductor, especially the proximal kind of the head, uh, origin rather, um, you, you kind of feel a really sore spot and you feel the radiation of that pain to the hip. So this is where the, the hip thrust comes in. Going back into my time of training, when I think about pumping the adductors, the glutes, um, which are kind of like, if you think about it, opposites of hip flexors and the TFL. TFL is where the pain manifests itself. Uh, working the opposite in some sort of manner that it doesn't impact everything else, right? So, you know, I know that I can sumo, sumo deadlift. I know I can wide stance squat. I'm doing wide stance squatting and that's kind of been really good and it's kept the pain away. But I really wanted to explore that further. You know, some days... I want to explore. Some days I, I want to engage the intellectual side of my being. It's not just work, work, work with me. You know, there's days where I come in and I'm like, I really want to play, you know, and I, I think a few of you guys can relate to this. I know what works. I can do that all the time, but especially days like this where I feel quite tired, really. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do some of the work, but I, I can't go full bonkers with the work. So let me just explore and still get myself in the gym, still get myself into the training kind of, uh, realm of existence and so today i wanted to explore the glute uh thrusts or the hip thrusts uh, i did a bunch at home i woke up and i was as i was in bed i did like something like 20 sets of just various different kind of stances with uh glute bridges i didn't i wasn't thrusting i was glute bridging um, and what i found was that i was getting pumped through the adductors and i was getting pumped through the glutes so i thought wouldn't it be really cool to go to the gym and do this in the gym with a hip thrust machine? Yes, I can do it with the barbell at home, but that's a sorry ass existence and it always gets me sore. And if I'm not going to pursue that heavy, heavy weight hip thrusting, can I just go to the gym and put that nice little belt machine on and, and be done with it without the pain? And so that's what kind of motivated me to go to the gym. After having said all of that, I never really recorded any of the sets for the hip thrust. Uh... I deadlifted, I front squatted, and I did hip thrust, and I went home. I was there for like 45 minutes. I don't know what it is about me. It's like, it's not that, it's not that I hate going to the gym, but it's like so much better at home. Um, especially now that I've been away for such a period of time, like 
I, I just love training without music. I love training and hearing my own thoughts. Um, not that anybody bothers me or whatever. It's just I have to be mindful of other people. Where are the weights? Are the weights available? Like, what's what's the person next to me doing? Am I safe? Is she gonna flip the bar over the top of me? Is he gonna come back into me when I'm deadlifting? Like these type of thoughts don't exist when I'm at home. It's just a beautiful thing. Um, I started off with the deadlift. I, I quite enjoy deadlifting uh, in the gym. That's one thing that it would always be the case because the deadlift is noisy. And in the gym, I can just make noise, right? I, I can do my kneeling deadlift, pull the bar as hard as I can and drop it down and the neighbor's not going to be affected. Um, so I kind of really, really like that aspect of it. Uh, so I did that uh, deadlifts. Um, and one thing that I wanted to... Uh, kind of say about the deadlift. It's very infrequent in my training now. I think this is like the second time this year that I've done it. I think I did it like 10, 10 days ago or something like this. Today I pulled 250. Uh, the one thing I'll say is that I feel like my strength is basically the same without even worrying about the deadlift, which is weird. Um, the one thing though is I'm very slow off the start. I'm usually slow, but I, I basically have no confidence with the bar. Um, the form kind of feels wonky, blah, 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 blah. The, the strength is still there. I was able to uh, pull 250, although I pulled it gingerly. It was kind of weird. Like I didn't want to put all my mind into it just because like I'm thinking back and the same old freaking thoughts in my mind about safety and whatever. Quite happy with that. Did the front squat. My, my lower back and my core was exhausted from the 250 pull. And then I did uh, the, the hip thrust and I went home. Um, Am I going to go to the gym again anytime soon? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll see if I want to explore this hip thrust thing again. Um, but right now, like basically, I'm doing so much squatting, bodyweight squatting, that everything is, is jelly anyway. Everything's perfect. There's no pain. There's no concerns for me. Um, but it, it, it was interesting to, to kind of be in the gym after the, you know, a whole bunch of time off and, and seeing the difference, how I feel. I just love my own space, uh, you know, I love being with my weights, my thoughts, I can be here 10 hours, I can, if my son needs me, if my daughter needs me, if my wife needs me, I'm there, I can walk in and out, I can get my drink, I can go to the toilet, I don't have to think about anyone, there's just so much comfort at home, the only thing is the deadlifting, um, it, I don't think it's a coincidence that I dropped off deadlifting completely um, when I started training exclusively at home, that's because of that, um, so if I was to do deadlift every day, it wouldn't be really possible to really do deadlift every day at home because noise and really that's about it. Um, so that that was my day, you know. Uh, <laughs> the, these days are for me, I don't I don't want to say the funnest, but they're pretty cool when I kind of get into that realm of uh, um, just kind of like running down the rabbit hole of thoughts. Kind of hunting different muscles through exit through through movement it's, it's so strange like you know today i was thinking to myself man like these adductors are getting absolutely fried doing the glute bridge why is that why is my adductor getting fried and just you know staying with that thought running running that around in my head over and over again like thinking to myself what the hell is going on what's the adductor got to do with hip thrusting and this is where you kind of go back into the google type in you know adductor major you know, uh, uh, Magnus, and you're like thinking about, oh, that's a major muscle group in, in, in the hip girdle. How would that be related to thrusting the hips forward? And then you think to yourself, if somebody's got trouble locking out their deadlift, this is just me talking off the cuff. If somebody's got trouble locking out their deadlift, people say it's usually the glutes. Ah, well, it could be adductors. Because when I do glute bridges and glute hip thrusts, I feel a lot of adductors. Maybe I'm different or whatever, but um, it's just interesting. It, it's it's interesting. I don't know. I love this. I love this aspect of training is the whole thinking about it. And this is probably what pulls me away from a lot of my thought processes, a lot of my training regimens is because like, there's, there's a side of Ivan that wants to progress and, and put work in. And there's also a side of Ivan where it's like, oh, I just want to play and explore and restart my character and run this idea, re run this idea over and over again, run that, test this, test that, just bouncing around the gym off all the walls. Clearly you can't make progress if you keep doing that. So it's kind of like a yin and a yang with me. Anyway guys, rambling on now. Appreciate all of you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.